Hi, I'm going to be talking about creating a chicken coop extension as we're having the avian flu poultry lockdown in December 2020 in the United Kingdom. We currently have five hens and with our current coop, it's a place that they would um, go back to during the day when it was raining and it was sheltered and dry. They could have their dust bath, could sit up on their perches and watch the rain. And it's a safe predator proof place at night. And during the daytime and when the weather was nice, they have free access to the whole of our small fenced garden um, in Wales uh, in the United Kingdom where I live. Avian flu is back in the United Kingdom in a big way and biosecurity measures have increased since November. So as of December 2020, all poultry have to be housed, whether it's a small backyard flock or whether you're a huge commercial uh, operation. I felt anxious and worried when the mandatory housing requirement came in and I actually did cry, like that's how upset I was about it. And I think part of my strong emotions was I was almost like reliving my own trauma about COVID lockdown for my family back in April. So it was a really difficult uh, first few months. Uh, so beyond those strong feelings I initially felt about the hens avian flu housing lockdown, I, um, I also had worries about them having to adjust from being allowed in the garden all the time and now having to be housed 24-7. I'm, I'm feeling worried that they're going to get bored, they're going to get hostile with each other, they're going to be noisy. Um, I'm quite sensitive to noise because we live in a mid-terraced house and we've got very close neighbors. So a lot of negative feelings were coming up. Their current chicken coop that they have is great, but everything has its pros and cons. So I feel the negatives of my hens being in their current coop 24-7 is that it's dark. We've positioned it next to an outbuilding and a shed. It's got a solid green roof. So those features are good normally when they come back in the day to get shelter from hot days, from rain, from wind but it's not great for sunshine. Um, secondly, our garden faces like northeast. So in the winter, we only get direct sunlight in the garden in the morning in the very back. And our chicken coop is right next to our home. So in the winter, our coop does not get any direct sunlight. So similarly, like well, about the previous point, there's not sunshine in this coop, it's dark. Um, and then thirdly, even though I, this coop is very space efficient, I don't feel it's enough space for my five hens to be in 24-7. So considering these down points, my partner and I thought a, a coop extension with some special features could alleviate these worries, concerns that I have. And I feel really lucky my, about my partner willing to take on like DIY projects and relatively like big DIY projects. Um, he really enjoys taking on tasks and little projects like I do. And um, I mean, any excuse to buy new tools for the job for him is always a bonus. Uh, but don't worry if you don't have a lot of DIY skill. Um, you don't need, uh, you know, if you don't have like the special tools or new materials, you can actually do quite a lot from scavenge materials and creativity to get similar results. Because it's really the most important thing is just to do something. Because doing something is obviously so much better than not doing something because it can't be perfect. And let's be honest, perfection like is not a real thing anyways. <laughs> Hi, I'm Beth from Garden City Chickens. Weekly, I make a video and write in my blog about keeping a little flock in my little garden in the United Kingdom. So for this chicken coop extension to work, it needed a few special features to work in our situation. We wanted it to be temporary because outside of the avian flu lockdown, we don't need it. So we built it purposely to have like these panels that could just unscrew in the roof and then all lay flat together for storage. And then the concrete blocks that lined the base, we didn't mortar them together. It needs to be bright. So the sides are wired mesh and the roof is a clear plastic. Space efficient. 
we only had a limited amount of space where we could build the extension into before it would be sitting on top of our garden bed. So we had to make the most of vertical space. So we made like two wide perches. Um, there's like a six rung ladder connecting the two. It's tall enough to, you know, so we can walk into. So those perches could be spread up quite high. Dry. It helps having the roof being next to a fence helps. And the litter is a mix of soil and sand. That's been a good mix for our climate. And we've got that sitting on concrete pavers, which also helps with the damp. So it is a little wet, but it's not muddy, <laughs> which is great. So damp we can deal with, uh, but muddy we're okay. Another consideration with our extension was how to connect the two little buildings, <laughs> two little coops. So we decided to cut a hole in the wired mesh in the original coop and we made that high up where there's a perch and then when you walk over through that hole there is another perch in the new run um, at that same level. Having a high access point between the two runs has a few benefits. When, for example, we remove the extension in the future, that hole that's up high could be a weak spot for predators when we put some wire mesh on it. So if it's high up, it will be more challenging for the predator to get up there and try to push their way through. It's a bit of stimulation and enrichment for the hens to have to like figure out how to go up to the access point on the perches and then come back down if they're trying to get food on the ground in one side and the other. <laughs> it also provides um, relief I think for hens lower in the pecking order in my flock because if a group of them are digging on the ground on one side the other hens can be you know scavenging for food on the other side in the ground and they can't compete there's no you don't have to compete with each other over like the food and because they'd have to go up and over for the access point have you expanded your chickens coop and how is that working out do your hens like it feel free to comment below or send me a message thanks for watching and i hope to see you next week <laughs> bye <laughs>